In this video, I am unbagging some diamond painting kits that I was kindly gifted from DP Clubs. Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. There are some awesome kits in here, so let's get started and we'll do the one that came in the white envelope first. Now I tried to cover all of the bases in this order being crystal rhinestones, square and round. So this one should be the crystal rhinestones and yes it is. We'll have a look there first. We've got your standard toolkit. We'll look at them in a moment but here is the kit. And it's a beautiful pink and yellow themed mandala. 30 by 30, which of course means it's about 24 by 24. Nice and sticky. Oh, very, very sticky. <laughs> um, I just fell in love with this one when I saw it. I love pink and yellow together. Love the color palette. So looking very clearly printed as you can see and there's 13 different colors and here they are so I've got all different shapes and sizes by the looks of things which is exciting you don't get bored that way just doing the same thing all the time Ooh, that's very sticky oh am I even opening it oh yeah that's very well sealed that glue on this little plastic envelope is working very well so let's have a look at the uh, actual drills. So you've got a beautiful light blue teardrop, yellow, red, looks like a yellow pearl, and a white teardrop pearl. And then you've got your marquees. So definitely pink and yellow being repeated throughout, which is what I wanted because I do love again I'm repeating myself I know <laughs> I do love pink and yellow that's um yeah that's a hot pink as opposed to a red that's a red but that's a hot pink so nice looking drills I can see some with the foil slightly not printed properly on the back but you tend to get that but they're all still very usable and will look absolutely stunning on this piece when it's done so next we'll have a look at this square one and this is a 30 by 40 so you've got your regular toolkit and we'll have a look at these drills in a minute but thank goodness these are also in the bigger packets of silver stripes I'm getting so scared to opening well not scared but you know getting so concerned opening these diamond paintings at the moment whilst the manufacturers are using those tiny packets but here is the image it is a Kimi doll but a very pale Kimi doll very subtle palette for me and it's just beautiful so it's mostly white but with some pink and blue accents or flowers around her if you look at the drill field it is printed really really super clear not a problem at all very sticky as you can see so she is 21 colors so let's have a look at the drills so that's your color 21 and that is obviously there's two bags of that one because it is what most of the background in her dress is so that's a nice white color and they look like they're pretty good quality drills I think it's rare these days to get bad drills I don't want to say it doesn't happen but I think it's rare that they come through poor quality like when I first started diamond painting you could really get some terrible quality drills depending on the manufacturer I think most of them these days they seem to have perfected the art <laughs> or the processing I should say and yeah mostly pretty damn good drills these days 
And that's really hard to tell the difference, in my opinion, between budget companies and the more expensive companies, because I dare say they get all their drills manufactured by the same places. But nice subtle colours in this one and all 21 colours are present and accounted for. So I'll pop these away and we'll look at the next kit. So this one is a round one, this one and the last one are both round drills and I'm oh, so happy! <laughs> I tell you it doesn't take much to make me happy does it when it comes to these diamond paintings. We have them all pre-bagged. Uh, standard toolkit and here is the kit or the canvas. It is this gorgeous octopus and oh, another reason that makes Sally very happy. We've got 666. Yay! <laughs> you know I'm never going to stop pointing it out, don't you? As long as you're all aware of that by now. doesn't look like there's much. Oh, S is around here a bit. So there's not a lot of 66, but there's a number. There's enough. This has 21 colours and it is more on the dark side, but I just loved it. And yeah, as you can see, it's a scary little octopus. It's very sticky. Looking at the drill field, you can sort of see there around his head part where the 666 will be. Uh, it is printed clearly, but I would just wish they'd use uh, a bit of a brighter white when they're using uh, the white ink on the letters. In comparison, if you can see how the legend's printed, it is really bright. So if they could only get it, that to be the same brightness, it would be perfect. But I mean, apart from that, it's not blurry. It's just slightly dull. 21 colors. So I will get them out in three lots of seven. So all colours are present and accounted for. Even though the image looks quite dark on the canvas, there's some nice bright colours uh, there that are going to pop through. And I think that's for the mostly for the octopus itself. It's the background that's going to be darker. So I do like the colour palette in this one. As I said, all colours are present and accounted for and the drills look good can't see an issue with the drills whatsoever so love this kit let me pop all these away and we'll bring out the last kit Alrighty, so here is the last kit now this kit I selected so I can do one crass adult humor joke line when I reveal it because <laughs> I was in one of those childish moods because I was getting ready for the operation and I was getting nervous so I went completely childish. So before we get to it, there is your standard toolkit. And again, super, super happy. We've got all of the drills pre-bagged. I won't get these ones out because um, you, you can pretty much see the color range there and they all look really awesome. So I'm very happy that these kits came like that. But here it is, Sally's Humor, Juvenile Sense of Humor in action. Look at my big cock. Yes, I selected this kit purely so I could say that line. <laughs> it will get done though. I do like the artwork on it. Um, and this is one of those ones where I can use my origami paper or other papers I have to eliminate most of the white background, which is great because really you only need to center on the cock in the middle. <laughs> Surprisingly, there are 20 colors in this. And yes, all of the colours bar the background colour of 3865 are on the rooster. So that's pretty good going. That's a lot of detail colour for this little image. It's a 30 by 30 canvas all up. So that's a lot of colour going into that space. Um, and as you can see, it is printed beautifully. And look, my cock's a devil cock because it also has colour 666 in it. As you can see, there, yay! <laughs> so, so yeah, 
I don't apologize for my humor. This is my humor, but it is a nice image and it'll be really quite detailed, I think, when the drills go down on it, having 20 colors, well, actually 19 colors dedicated to the rooster. This will be a perfect one to show how I eliminate a lot of the background using origami paper or scrapbook paper or anything like that. So here they all are, the four kits I was gifted from DP Clubs. Again, thank you DP Clubs. I am absolutely over the moon with all of the kits. They have come through printed beautifully. They are nice and sticky. And most importantly, those drills have come through the right way. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments which is your favourite kit. And I was glad I got to uh, cover the full range. So you've got your special, you've got your square and you've got your two rounds. As I said, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you and I always respond. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if everyone could hit that like button and also the notification bell. If you're interested in supporting my channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But I think that will do it for this video. Everybody, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.